Hi Aria, it's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we came to Azure Watch, which is another colony in Azure style that is recovering from the crash. We helped them out by hunting, fishing, and also providing an ointment for an injured night elf. So today, we are going to continue questing here in Azure style. We're going to have a chat with Daydai. Let's see what he's the up Naru to. Have not forgotten an alchemist. Us is able to work miracles with ordinary herbs, converting them into stable potions that range in effect from healing to breathing underwater and eat and everything in between. An alternative alternative. The girl is too far gone for mere ointment to be effective. There may be another way. The forest of Azermist holds many secrets. One of those being a rare plant known as the Azure Snapdragon that some claim to be a panacea, a cure-all. You can identify the plant by its stark contrast to the other plants of Azure Mist and its need to grow at the base of the Azure Pine trees. Make haste and squiddly diddly be wary of the root threshers of the region as they consume Snapdragon for sustenance. Be well. So it looks like they have not given up on the injured Night Elf Priestess and we are going to collect some Snapdragon to help revive her. But we have to find these... Uh, these trees. I guess we'll just keep running into all the trees. And we'll uh, try to find these, uh, these snapdragons. Let's uh, follow this here. What if there's different trees here? Like if all the trees. Okay, here's one. We found one already. There's one. This must be uh, one of the trees he's talking about. The Azure pine trees. Most of these trees seem to be pine trees. And it looks like we got an alliance outpost up ahead, so we'll go over there and check that out. Because it seemed to be running out of quests in Azure Watch. Odysseus Landing. Wow, look at all the peons. It's working hot. Work, work. Alright, so let's have a chat with well this met. guy. Admiral Odysseus, Alliance Naval Command. Small start. I am Admiral Odysseus of Alliance Naval Command. Our ship was forced to port on your island due to an infestation of sorts. It's embarrassing to even talk about but goblins somehow managed to stow away in the holds of both of my ships. Last night, while most of the ship's crew was asleep below deck, they struck. Stranger still, they took our navigation gear and jumped ship. They disappeared into the thicket east of here. Will you go in search of our gear? It will make for a strong gesture. All right, so I guess we gotta find, uh, find his gear. Looks like the goblins stole it while they were sleeping. Let's have a chat with this guy. Hello. Cookie McWeeksus. Avasi, matey. Cookie is me name. Cooking is me game. The McWeeksus bloodline is a via <laughs> long line of cooks and tradesmen that work to please the more delicate senses of man and woman. Cookie's Jumbo Gumbo. The Admiral will be right. Ye are a resourceful one. Mayhap ye could help Cookie out. If I serve the crew chicken for dinner again, I'll be sent to the brig for sure. I noticed that there be crawlers all along the coastline. Lots of crawlers. Bring me crawler meats and I'll be forever indebted to you. Help help a reform pirate. A reform pirate out. See you around. And so it seems like this guy used to be a pirate and then he joined uh, Odysseus' naval command. Here's the... There's the skittering crawlers right here. And it looks like we need to head east. Be this way. To find... All of those navigation tools. That Odysseus is looking for. So let's get Rockbiter Weapon on here. I guess we'll slay some of these crawlers along the way. Oh man. Looks like our bags are damn full. So we gotta... Get rid of some junk. 
Good thing we didn't go too far. Sell all this stuff here to uh, like weak sauce. Need something? This will give him the stag meat. Keep the malachite. Keep the small eggs. Probably, I don't know, maybe, I guess. Why not? Keep the fishing pole, I guess. A lot of this stuff probably won't sell in the auction house, but you never know. Looks like we got another quest here, too. Got a lot of fishing stuff. Alright, I'll keep it for now. Eventually, we'll hit a bank and I'll be able to throw it in a bank. We are running out of bag space, for See you which kind of sucks. So let's head, uh, keep heading east. Do have a lot of quests to finish. Should get these started. Should probably check out these trees too for the. Missouri Snapdragon bulbs. We're getting this crawler meat pretty damn quick. These seem to be their ships over here. I wonder if it's full of goblins on there. Supposedly they did get boarded. Cast a gift for the Naru here. It's funny how their heads light up when you cast that. Some earth shocks in there. Alright, so let's keep going east. We'll regen mana while we, uh, we go for a little stroll here. And then I'll get back to fighting the crawlers again. Just want to check a couple of these trees. See if we can find some of these snapdragons. Seem to be pretty rare. I wish I had herbalism because then I could track them. Looks like we found the goblin camp. There's a goblin right up here. Oh, they got gnolls too. It's a venture company. Should have known. Is that deer trying to fight us? Let's see, we leveled up. A little stag, I should say. So we're at the camp, Diesel's camp. And we have to find. Oops! So we pulled some stuff. We have to find this. Oh my gosh! We better watch out. These goblins are hiding in, hiding in the, the tall grass. Yeah, we might be some trouble here. Pulled two. We're in trouble. We're in trouble, all right. Where's that other? Where's that? Oh, wow. We're pulling too many. Okay, we're running. Throwing down, <laughs> throwing down an earthbind totem. We're getting out of here. Seal up. 
this guy still want to fight? Okay, right, we'll fight this guy. Pop a gift to the Nar. Yeah, we almost died there. Almost took our first death. Got a little too deep. Ooh, got some winning claws. Not bad. Right, we gotta watch out, though, there. These goblins like to hide in the tall grass. Can barely... There we go. There's a knoll, too. I can even see it. If I turn this on, I'll be able to see him, though. If I put the nameplates on. I think having the nameplates off makes it a little bit tougher. But... Okay, yeah, like, you can barely see that guy. We're in trouble here. Drop the slow totem. Earth by totem. Come on, come on, run, dude. Oh my gosh. That goblin has been beating us up. All right, we're going, we're going to have a little bit of food here. We're going to have a tough hunk of bread. And we'll get our water uh, situation figured out as well. Yeah, we were one shot away from dying there. That was close. Alright, so let's go back on our journey here. Try to get to this little blue thing. <laughs> this little blue tent. I don't even know if you can call it a tent, but... I'm gonna turn it on. See, you can't even see him. See, you can't even see that guy. I love how they made it like that. I can imagine a lot of like people dying here. I see a lot. another goblin here. I wonder where Giesel is. It's going to be interesting when we uh, get to meet him. I wish I had like an offensive totem. Like a totem that shoots like fire. I forget what they're called, like flame strike totems. Alright, so it looks like we found the nautical compass. Oh no. Let's throw down another uh, totem here. We'll shoot some lightning bolts. up. Now we have to find the nautical map, and I want to find out where Giesel is. I have a feeling we'll probably get a quest to fight him. This is probably no rush. Look, we got another sh another shaman or hunter. Train eye hunter over here. Named Blue Friend. be able to just walk in now. Alright, here's the nautical map. That was good. Looks like the hunter did most of the work there. Now we can just uh, move our way up. We'll say thanks at least. My deepest gratitude. Alright, so let's head back. I guess we will uh, find some crawlers on the way back. Why not? Because we need to get some more crawler meat. We still need to get uh, more of those Snapdragon bulbs. I 
Looks like there's not many crawlers on this side. You have to actually like go in the water. Unless that hunter killed them all, maybe. Fun like kiting around this uh, earthline totem. I wish warriors had this. <laughs> Get hit hit a lot less, that's for sure. Lost our totem there. So we're having a tough time getting the clan meat off of these guys. Seems like they all don't have meat on them. We get one meat. It's brutal. <laughs> Especially for like a starting zone. I guess they're trying to show you like what WoW questing is all about. It's a good introduction to that. You don't always get the item you want from the mobs you kill. I always thought that was kind of silly that they add they add that. Like, especially when it's, like, meat. Or, like, a, a body part. Then it should be, you know... It shouldn't be so hard to obtain. But there shouldn't be a chance for it to drop. That's what I, should, what I mean. I guess they just want you to get more XP. Fuck by fighting these mobs. All right, so we're running out of running out of mana here. him a little bit. No meat. <laughs> I think we're getting unlucky with the drop rate. Might have to kill every single one of these crawlers on this shoreline. Just to feed the troops, you know? This one has to drop one. Are we getting lucky today? Alright, we did. It's good. Just have to call it out. Alright, this one's dropping one. Be 
these peons working hard. They're repairing the ship, I guess. That's why they're getting wood for the boats. They probably got damaged by, uh... Probably got damaged by the goblins, and then they had to use whatever wood that they had on the ship to repair it. Now they need to get more such stock of wood. Kind of reminds me of playing Sea of Thieves. You always want your barrels full. Full of cannons and wood and, f and food. So you can, uh, you know, repair your ship, eat, be able to shoot your cannons. That'd be cool if they had, like, a Sea of Thieves WoW type of game. There's so much WoW can do. They could have so many games. Sea of Thieves WoW would be awesome. And then you add, like, a little bit of magic stuff, and then you fight, like, you know... I don't know if we would call it a, a Leviathan. You could fight Naga in the water. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, where are these crawlers? Now I'm competing with this, uh, hunter. This hunter's going actually out in the water. Maybe that's what I should do. It's getting rough out here. Should we actually go to the... I don't think we can get on the ship. Pretty sure we can't. All right, maybe we'll take a little break from crawlers. Yeah, we'll take a little break, and then we'll go. We'll go back to Zuri Snapdragon bulbs. Yeah, WoW really needs a new game mode. It really does. I hope the next expansion has a game mode that's really fun. King's honor, friend. All right. Any luck, stranger? Your resourceful one. With our navigation gear, we can figure out just how far we've burst off course. But wait, what's this? There's something rolled up in the map. Let me see. These are orders from Mogul Razduck Adventure Company. According to these plans, they're here to strip mine the island of Crystal Wreckage and hijack our ships once they're finished. By Bronzebeard's Bushy Bro, this is why they forced us to land. How could they know of our plans? I smell a traitor. I got a plan. I've wondered about this for some time now, but this proves to be true. There is a traitor among us. The plans left behind by the goblins documents the conspiracy. Since I don't know who it could be, I'm going to need your help to find the traitor. None of my crew can be trusted. If this is going to work, I'm going to need a hollowed out tree and leaves. Search near the loggers north of us for the tree. You'll find you'll need to find the leaves by yourself. Check the forest. Light bless you. Oh, we're doing a lot of work for this guy. Imagine the traitor hey, is Squidly Diddly. I mean, not Squidly Diddly. I mean, How Cookie you? McWeek sauce. Maybe I'm the traitor. <laughs> Who knows? It'd be funny if you could be the traitor. There's more quests to do here. We got some to finish off here. Gotta finish off this Azuri Snapdragon one. At least find a couple of them. I think it's a good idea to do that while the crawlers all spawn back. So I didn't really feel like waiting around. We could also find some leaves, I guess, in the forest. Not great. Oh, a pile of leaves. Okay, so we found, find some leaves. That's good. Pick these leaves up. Our bags are looking kind of packed. Filling up a little bit.
Get him. Get him. These birds are pissing me off. Just trying to find some stuff in the forest. Oh, is he mad now? Oh, wow. You slowed me. I want to kill you. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, my gosh. We're going to die to these idiots. No, we're not. Popping gift of the Naru. Am I? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, I'm not. We're going to kill you. That's for sure. That's right. Leave me alone, stag. This place is crazy. I'm telling you. <laughs> you got one thing I learned right there. Like, if you can't just drop your earth my totem near neutral mobs they'll just get pissed off that you slowed them I didn't know that another thing I know is that these uh, Zuri snapdragons are pretty rare I think they're probably more near the Zuri watch probably just not all over the place like I, I suspect they are Yeah, we were literally at two health. And then, uh... Just got a nice tick of that... That gift of the Naru and saved our lives. Been on the brink of death a couple times this episode. Gotta be some more of these Azure pine trees, you know? These guys are pretty docile. The root trappers. Never seen these just peons over here chopping wood down. I swear we can't find a single one of these snapdragons. We only have one. You would think they would have it like every couple trees. There's one right there. So I am correct. They are mostly around Azuri Watch. If you get too far around Azuri Watch, I think I think you won't find these snapdragons. See that? There's another one right there. We were just a little too far. And I bet you we wouldn't find leaves here. See, there's another one over there. All the piles of leaves are probably near uh, Odysseus Landing, yeah. But you would think, right, that they would just be around the entire place, because the Azurum style is full of Azuri pine trees. Like, the whole place is pine trees. There isn't a different type of tree here. <laughs> They're all pine trees. Okay, so let's keep on going. I wonder what they think about the humans cutting them down, or these pirates. Oh, there's some leaves. Let's pick these bad boys up. We need to find out a find a hollowed out tree. I don't know where we're gonna find that. I wonder where all the peons went. I guess we'll head back now. Go back, we'll see if we can find some crawlers. So all we need is one more meat. Look at this guy swinging. Just swinging that axe. Super fast. Faster than my, or my orc warrior. 
That'd be a cool class you could play if you could play Peon. And they were actually strong. Actually, these guys aren't peons, right? They're just like workers, right? I wonder what they call, call them in Warcraft 3 again. Because peons are orcs. I don't know what they called these guys. They call them an alliance logger. And wow, but in Warcraft 3, the RTS, I think they were named something else. So let's turn in this uh, cookies jumbo gumbo. Ar yar, shiver me timbers. They're sorry, lad. I gotta practice me pirate, lest I forget it. Bless your heart, stranger. This will go a long ways in lifting the morale of the crew. It looks like we're gonna get some uh, cookies jumbo gumbo ourselves. Safe travels. Not too shabby. And let's see what it does. It gives us two stamina and spear for 15 minutes. Not too bad. Alright, so I'm going to hearth back and we'll uh, turn in this Azure uh, Snapdragon Bulb quest. See if we can help out this Night Elf Priestess. Arcanon Poros. Do not waste time, boy. Watch as the plant works its magic. Safe journey. Right, let's watch as the pant plant works its magic. Let's see what he's got here. This should do it. Wake up, little creature. Wake up from your slumber. You are safe now. Oh, she made it. Where am I? What? What is this place? <laughs> By the light of a loon, Eridar. Cursed demons, what have you done to me? I have not come alone. We will fight you as we have in the past. Minari. But how? We are not Eridar. She must know. If there are others like her, we must find, find them. And explain. So what did she do? Did she just, like, pass out? Out of fear? And she clearly thinks these people are demons because they, they do look the like, you know, they look like Kill Jaden, they look like Archimond. I think Archimond and Kill Jaden are Draenei, so. But yeah, that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.